the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn about crew and cast call times. So from the Gorilla toolbar, to get to the crew and cast call times, what we're going to do is we're going to select the calendar button. Now we have to prepare a few things before we actually start entering crew and cast call times. First of all, you need to create a production phase and attach shoot days to that phase, which as you can see, we've done. The second thing you need to do for cast call times, you need to make sure that the strip board is completed. Now we go over the strip board in another lesson, but in order for cast to appear on a particular shoot day, we need, we need to know what days that cast are scheduled, and we can only do that when the strip board is completed. Now I've already done that, but I wanted to make that clear. The second thing is for crew call times, we need to make sure that our crew are created in the contacts module, which again, I've already done. So let's review one more time. In order to set crew call times, you need to make sure that you've created your crew in the contacts module. And when you create crew in the contacts module, you're gonna be given an opportunity to assign that crew member to the crew category and assign that crew member a title. And we're gonna go through that in another lesson, but I've already done that for this particular lesson. And secondly, for cast call times, you have to make sure before you set cast call times that the strip board is completed and, and saved before setting cast call times, which again, I've done. So I wanted those two reminders to be very apparent. So now that we've done that, uh, let's go back to the calendar and notice here there's a call sheet column. Now in this column allows you to set cast and crew call times for each and every single shoot day. So let's go ahead and click on the first shoot day here and it's going to take you to a screen called call sheet info. Now let's take a look at this screen for a few seconds. Notice that the date that we're on is the first shoot day and the call time is displayed here. Let me move this down just a little bit so you can see that it's the same shoot day. Now we can modify the call time simply by clicking into this field and modifying the time to whatever we would like. We can also enter some notes here. Now these notes will appear on the scene cast call sheet. Now on the right hand side of the screen, notice our little mini calendar. Now I've, I've already modified the look of this calendar and we can modify it a little bit more. So let's say for example, if you look at the legend here, see how shoot days are yellow and the off days are sort of an orange color. We can modify that if we'd like. Let's make the shoot day a green color and the off day a red color. So it's very clear that we can see where our shoot days are and where our off days are. We can even modify the background if we would like. Let's go ahead and click on that button and select a more of a neutral maybe background color or something like that. That's a little too green. Let's go ahead and go back to a light yellow. There we go. But in any case, you can modify and play with that particular calendar. Now, more importantly, of course, you can quick pick one of these days to go to those shoot days and modify information. So we're on the first day. If we were to click on another day here, for example, the 15th, notice we are now on the 15th, and we can then enter some information for this particular shoot day. Let's go back to the 14th and proceed with entering some crew call times. So notice down here, the tab says crew call times. This is the tab that we are on right now. We're gonna go ahead and enter some crew call times for this particular shoot day. In order to do that, we're gonna click on this green add button right here. And a list of all our crew are gonna pop up. Now again, the list that you see here with the titles and the names are all cast, I'm sorry, are all contacts that have been created in the contacts module. Okay, so now if I wanted to add a particular crew member to this particular day, all you have to do is select that crew member. And as you can see in the background, the name and the title of that crew member appears. And we could select either all of them or just a few of them. Again, we're tailoring the day to the crew members that we want for 
to, to appear on that particular day and at that particular time. Let's go ahead and click close here and we could do some more tailoring. Notice on the right hand side of the screen now, each one of these crew members has their own individual call time. Now even though this is the call time for the particular day, each crew member can have their own call time. So let's go ahead and modify a few of these call times. Let's say that the director doesn't have to be there till a little bit later and the, the DP needs to be there possibly a little bit earlier. So as you can see, we can modify these particular call times. Now, in order to tailor this even more, let's say we wanted to remove one of these crew members from this particular shoot day, we can go ahead and click on the red remove button here and that will remove that crew member from that particular shoot day. Now remember, this removes the crew member from this shoot day. It does not delete that contact from the contacts module. If we were to click this plus button again, we can simply add that crew member to this day again. Now let's go ahead and add some crew members to another shoot day and I'm going to show you another way to do that. Now we can simply click on a button here to go to the next shoot day or any other day for that matter or if we are back into this screen we can go ahead and select another day here. So let's say we want to select this particular day here and now we are in the shoot day June 16th. Notice that the default call time comes up. We can modify that and enter some more notes for this particular shoot day. And of course there are no crew members in this particular screen. Now again we can click on this green button here to add some crew members. But another way to do it is to click on this little button here with the arrow pointing downwards. What this is going to do as the tooltip displays is import crew from contacts. Now this is going to import all the crew from the contacts module. Notice how quickly that happened. We imported everyone from the, contact, uh, from the contacts module that's flagged as a crew member. And then of course we can go through just like we did before and we can modify some of these call times here. We can actually remove some of these uh, crew members. Let's say we don't need a particular crew member for only for this particular day. And as you can see now, we can tailor each particular shoot day with the crew members that we want for that particular day. All right, so let's move on now. I'm going to go ahead and close this screen and let's go back to another shoot day. Now I could use the quick pick calendar if I want, but I want to show it to you this way. Let's go ahead and click on that first day again and notice that it defaults to the crew call times tab. Notice the tab next to it says cast call times. Now once again, cast call times can only be entered after the strip board is completed. If you are to click the cast call times button and you don't see any characters in this screen, that means that no, either either A, your strip board hasn't been completed, or B, your strip board has been completed, but for this particular shoot day, there are no cast members or characters attached to that particular shoot day, and only the strip board will tell you that. So now you see the characters needed for the day. If the actor field is empty, as you can see it is here, that means that we did not cast this particular character to an actor. And we're going to do that in another lesson. We actually did that in the elements lesson. If you go ahead and check out one of the managing elements lesson, it explains how to attach an element to an actor. There is also, we explain this also in the contacts lessons. So you want to check that out. So now as you can see, we've got three characters here scheduled for June 14th and that's dictated again by the strip board. Now we can go ahead here and enter makeup and call times for these particular characters slash actors. So I'm going to go ahead and select makeup and I can go ahead and select a call time and I can do this for every single character slash actor in my screen here. Now you don't have to enter this information of course but this information will appear on a scene cast call sheet, which is a very important report, and I'm going to show you that report at the end of this lesson. Now you might notice this SAG Exhibit G button, and each one of the characters slash actors has a button that you can click. This, if you click on it, let's go ahead and do it for this particular 
uh, character. Now, of course, we should have an actor here attached to that particular character, but this particular screen allows you not only to modify the information here that we modified or created in the previous screen, but it allows you to create more, uh, enter more detailed information about this particular actor and the, uh, the shoot day. So what time they were dismissed on the set, what time they, they were dismissed from makeup and wardrobe. And look down here, there's a whole meals section here. And SAG requires that you enter all the uh, times that your actors, uh, when they had their meals, their breakfast, their first meals, their second meals, etc. And even travel time information is down here. And if you're familiar with uh, forced calls, you can enter that information here. And you could do that for every single actor and then print out a SAG Exhibit G report from our print uh, menu. Let me close out of this. And before um, we move on to the next lesson, I wanted to show the scene cast call sheets. Let me close this window up and go under the file pull down menu and select the print option. And of course, this is where you print all of your reports in Gorilla. If you were to select the production reports module and then select the scene cast call sheet report, um, you can sample and see what information will print out on this particular report. If you were to click on this little info button here, this allows you to uh, customize this report. Notice the breakfast and comment times, parking and hospital information, meal information, and whether or not you want to print elements uh, or, and or locations on this report. And I'm going to show you that really quickly at the very, very tail end after I show you this report. Let me go ahead and click Done. Let me just show you a sample, by the way. If you click on this button, Sample, on any one of these reports, it's not going to show you your data. It's just going to show you a sample report very quickly uh, of what this report is going to look like. And if you can see, this is our scene cast call sheet report. It's a very standard industry report that is incredibly important in production. And of course, here is the call time, as you can see here, the shot information. Uh, and the weather information, we could, which you could also enter uh, on the call sheet info screen. And notice here, this is going to show you the scenes for the day and, of course, the cast. And here's the call time information, the makeup and the call time information for the cast that we entered. And then down here, this is all elements for the scene, which, of course, is entered on your breakdown sheet screen. And then down here, remember the meals that I showed you in the uh, SAG Exhibit G report? That's entered right over here. Down over here, look over here. This is where the notes are entered. Uh, not entered, but displayed. And, of course, parking and hospital information. And let me show you very quickly how to enter that. Let me cancel out of here. And let's go over back to the call sheet uh, column and select any one of these buttons to go to the call sheet for the day. Now, we went over the crew and cast call times and, of course, the SAG Exhibit G. And this is where you enter the meals and shots for um, the particular cast members. Now, the, the SAG Exhibit G report is the actual times that the actor ha did eat. This is information a little bit more generic. So if I wanted to put, you know, what we're going to have, I can do that. I can actually put in a breakfast time. And, of course, I thought we want to start our shot our first shot uh, at a particular time, we can certainly enter that information here. Uh, and then, of course, we have other tabs like the parking and hospital information tab, which will print on the scene cast call sheet, the atmosphere and stand-ins. And this, of course, if you're going to have atmosphere and stand-ins, you can go ahead and enter anything that you need here, whether a name or a label of what kind of character or actor or... or uh, uh, extra you're going to need. Of course, extras you can put on the breakdown sheet also. And lastly, the weather and sunrise information, where you can literally go in and add weather and sunrise information. You can see how we can grab that information directly from the web. And that's very, very helpful. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.